Hey everyone, Tobias here, and this time we are confronted with the Steam Summer Sales Partner in Crime, the Steam Winter Sale. This means a buttload of sales, training cards, and empty wallets are coming our way. Before you go diving into the frenzy, be sure to check out a couple of sites like Humble Bundle, TF2 Outposts, and such, depending if you have an accessible credit card or a handful of keys left over. Humble Bundle is good for not only nabbing some pretty good bundle deals, but as well as knowing the portion of your purchase will go to charity. Got no PayPal funds nor a credit card, but got some keys? No problem. TF2 Outposts and other tra TF2 trading sites is the way to go, as people frequently sell games on there, and usually drop their prices to around sale prices, so your hat trading has benefited you there. Just like my Steam Summer Sale video, I'm going to be recommending some more games within the range of $10. So the first game on this list is the underrated Starbound. If you like Terraria and its unique weapons, bosses, and upgrades, you're, you'll find a similar concept where you explore the stars via, via your own spaceship which you get to upgrade. You'll explore ex distinct planets which bear select races. The game comes with a story mode where you can explore unique dungeons and more. Overall, it's a fantastic game to play, especially with friends. On sale, it's about $10, but it's especially worth the fun. Next up is Thief, where you get to explore your city in a time of crisis. Amidst all the commotion, you play a character who sneaks, up, who sneaks around, loots homes, and even castles. Using the tools within the game, you can find hidden treasures, get the jump on guards, as well as a nice story mode that throws you all around and forces you to strategically map out your path in the shadows undetected or just kill everybody in your way. But where's the challenge in that? The game is around $7.50 during the sale. If you've got a group of friends to play with, I recommend Don't Starve Together. This game throws you into an unknown world that changes upon each new playthrough. You're tasked with building a shelter and hunting for food. Now on your own, that's kind of meh. Throw in a few friends and it's hella fun. You can, buy, you can build forms of armor, fight enemies, and whatever it takes to survive. There is plenty to do and you, and you don't, and if you don't, you starve and die. The game comes with a copy for a friend at $10, so technically it's $5 each during the sale. Next up is the popular Rocket League. This is a unique game for sure, as it's a sports game but with cars. This game is a fantastic multiplayer where you get to customize your car with decals, objects, and even hats. Sports range from the standard soccer, accompanied by basketball, and even ice hockey. During the sale, it's around $12, but in a 4-pack, it's, it's around $36, coming to a total of $9 per person. Scrap some funds together with friends, and it's definitely worth the buy. Lastly, I have two games for the single player in you, both being from the Batman series with the first being Batman Arkham Knight and the second being Batman The Telltale Series. Arkham Knight throws you into Gotham and you are tasked with stopping the tyranny caused by Scarecrow as you strategically take down groups of enemies with gadgets or take it to the streets with the Batmobile in militia battles. It's a decent game, no longer plagued with the endless performance issues like last year at about $10. Worth it if you like exploration and combat. Batman The Telltale Series throws you into the shoes of Bruce Wayne as he deciphers secrets hid by his family, while maintaining an outlook as the Batman kicking rear ends or solving a crime scene. Great if you enjoy a somewhat self-piloted story. This one is around $16 during the sale and it's hella worth it if you like the games with replayability and story. That concludes my rec recommendations for the sale, which ends on January the 2nd at 1pm EST. Keep an eye on the daily opportunities to get trading cards, as well as the winners of the Steam Awards event. That's all for this video, but fear not, I am on break till the 9th, so I have multiple opportunities to continue making videos. Also, I'll be streaming SFM over the break if you'd like to check that out. Reach me at my, own, at my new Twitch handle and say hello. Anyways, that's all folks. This is Tobias, wishing you a Merry Christmas, and with that, I'll catch you guys later.